Hello, this lesson is from one of our courses over at Print That Thing, where we help people learn 3D print design. If you haven't already, you can get the free startup file to hack Blender for your 3D printer at ptt.live. Let's get to designing. In this lesson, I wanted to show you the different types of select modes that you can use inside of Blender. Usually, I just keep mine on the select box, but I want to show you all the different ones because you may find one that you like more than the others. There's no right or wrong, but I uh, just wanted to show you what you got to work with. And how I'm doing this is, see how there's a little tiny triangle on the box right here? Uh, if you see that little triangle, like this one has it and this one has it, anytime you see that little tiny triangle in the corner, you can click and hold, and that will give you a few different options to choose from. So let's say we want to do the first one, tweak. And it looks kind of normal. It just looks like your normal mouse. Uh, but say if we go into edit mode, tweak is going to let you just click on individual points and just kind of tweak them, you know, grab them. You can rotate them. So you can rotate them like that, or you could scale them individually. And then you could just click over here and change your selection box. But and what I do is just hit W on the keyboard and that will actually cycle through all the different selection modes. Notice how I'm, while I'm hitting W, 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 it's changing the different modes. So let's go to the second one, select box. And usually I just keep it on this one because you can kind of use it like the tweak where you can just pick individual points, but you can also click and drag and select, you know, certain points, you know, so if you just wanted to select maybe the ear, you know, you can do that. And that is the box drag. Or if you're in the side, like orthographic view, I just hit numpad three. Or in the front view, you know, you could just kind of use that box select like that. You could even hold shift, select the other ear. Uh, you can even toggle in x-ray view mode uh, by clicking that button. And notice now I can kind of see through Suzanne and I can also select through Suzanne, you know, so I'm selecting everything that's visible. Whereas if I didn't have this on, um, then, you know, I can only select, it's only going to select what I can see, you know, it didn't select back here because we didn't have x-ray on. So you can use x-ray to your advantage uh, while selecting things. And a shortcut for x-ray mode is alt Z. So you can toggle x-ray mode on and off with alt z that's very helpful and if you ever select a bunch of stuff and you're like oh no i don't want all these you can also always hold control and deselect so, you know take just while holding control just like you know deselect anything you don't want another thing if you want to deselect everything is alt a and that will deselect all or if you want to select everything just hit a and that will select all. So A to select all, Alt A to deselect all. And now we're gonna to switch to the next selection mode. So just hit W. So now notice I have the circle select and this is kind of like a paintbrush. So think of this as a paintbrush. I'm gonna turn X-ray off and now you can just kind of glide around here. Let's actually go into faces mode. You, know, you can just paint the things that you want to have selected. So that's very, and the same thing goes, you can hold control to deselect or hold, you know, select something, hold shift and add more, you know, all around. Now let's hit W and we'll go to the lasso select. So say if we were back in point mode, we can hit alt A to deselect everything. And maybe we just want to kind of like loop in here. We can draw like a really fancy box. Maybe we want to get this bottom of the chin here. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but just showing you, you know, with the lasso, you can just select what you want wherever you need it. So that can come in very helpful. So yeah, just, so just, you know, hold shift and do that. If you ever want to take away, the same thing applies. Just hold control and control while clicking and dragging will subtract that information. And now we'll hit W on the keyboard. 
and that brings us back to tweak mode. So just pick any one of those you like. You can change it anytime. I just leave it on select box. So that is how you use the different selection mode. You can change your selection mode in edit mode and also in object mode, but it is a little bit more powerful in edit mode. Now let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson. To learn more about 3D print design, visit ptt.live.